Then, it's activate now. Now, let's say that it's fast heating. Let's see if at 35 or at 37 degrees Celsius, it will cut. Cut. Welcome guys, today we are going to wire this LUL IC902 into heating and that is a proofer and we have here a rocker arm switch, eternal block, a contactor just in case you have a heater with uh, bigger in amps or wattage a heater this is only for your visual aid but heater looks like this also and we have a cut off device just in case the NTC sensor got a problem and it didn't start to the, to the set point our set point is 37 degrees celsius there so this will be mounted together with this heater and we have a fan to distribute the heat to the cabinet and we have cables here with the AC plug and this A plus AC plug in my place it has a 13 amps fuse and let's begin with the control the control have a supply and I'm going to use this for the supply and the supply here is 4 and 5 terminal there and the neutral is terminal number 5 and I use and we're going to supply also the terminal number 5 which is the output relay for our load and this control have only on, have only one output relay and that's intended for the comp there and after this the NTC sensor uh, and level control have both NTC and PTC sensor compatible with it there is a program you might go to change the setting but the default is NTC there it has only one PB or sensor here so this is intended for chiller and it can go also for freezer but that is for just freezer only and after that so this will be my line here I go here with the life supply, neutral supply, and I go with the compressor activation here. Compressor, compressor activation, and we're done with the control. Now let's proceed to the here. This will be the supply, and the supply. Here is our life and our neutral there and that life neutral should we go here to the contactor A1 and to the incoming here. and I'm going to supply the A1 and B to of the coil coming here oh for the load here oh I forgot to okay let's join for the air switch I need another one here there again and let's join this together There. for the advanced user you may skip this but 
that I'm not going to provide with you guys a wiring diagram, just follow what I did here and here's our rudder switch here's the uh, pole 1, pole 2 so here is the live and neutral together with the supply live neutral and we're done with the supply now let's go to the load side load of the contactor we have a line here line 1 or the hot wire and the neutral together with the signal for the heater should be connected here to the coil 2 of the contactor coil 1, coil 2 and we're going to wire that up here there, signal, signal and load supply and our load is a heater this heater I'm going to put one of its wire here to the cutoff device and one wire of that is being put to the hub of the load of the contactor together with the neutral there this load here is we're going to install that the moment the switch is on this one on so continuous on there and here okay the wiring is now completed and let's proceed to the programming of this control now guys let's proceed to the programming press the set button here, just long press it when CP appears, release there then press set again and we set the differential to 2 degrees celsius there, press set and then it engages no load then let's proceed to the lowest set point press set and we're going to set that to positive 35 because here 37 it has a plus and 2 degrees celsius plus set to memorize and let's locate the H and C H stand for heating C stand for cool plus set uh, this is the default we're going to change that to H, which is for heating. So, okay, we're going to set this highest set point to the 37 degrees Celsius. There, set and lower set point 35. Okay, there is it. And we're now going to insert the load and it's the load for the heater and the load for the fan motor supply
positive for 70 percent use. That is our intention. Thanks for watching, everyone.